this is my little workspace right here. I reckon it's not bad at all. I've been looking at some photos I took yesterday, but I have to get ready because we have another long hike today. Let's go. Today we're going to the Casa Guayacan, which is another camp that they have in the reserve. We're going there because they need to bring food there so that they have things to cook when, uh, when, they're, when they're working in that camp. So uh, Ricardo uh, joined us today specifically to help Yadira and Ariel bring what they need to bring to Casa Guayacan. It's a long walk. It's going to be longer than yesterday's walk. Uh, let's see what we can find on the way and, uh, and on the way back, which we'll walk at night. It should be interesting. Let's go. So we just found capuchin monkeys after having found the spider monkeys and the howler monkeys in the past few days. So now that's all the monkey species for this reserve, so it's great that we found them all. They were here only briefly and they were into dense foliage, so it was really hard to get a clean shot, but it was great to see them. Okay, let's go. There are monkeys up there. We can't really see which ones yet, but they're eating and the fruits are falling all over the place. Rico. No está malo. No pensé que era malo. So this is the fruit that the monkeys up there are eating. Turns out they're howler monkeys but we can't see them, they're way too high. Anyway, Yadi's enjoying the food as well. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Okay, we're gonna have a little snack. I didn't bring any snack, so I'm gonna try what the monkeys eat. A ti te gusta? Sí. Es medio, tiene un saborcito medio agridulce. Mmm, es rico. Es rico. It's actually not bad at all. It's not a lot to eat. No hay mucho que comer, pero. Mhm. Pero cuando cae, cuando carga ese árbol, carga hartísimo. Entonces encuentras bastante. Mm. Mm. <coughs> She says that these trees actually bear a lot of fruits. So when they do fall, they fall in, in high quantity. So they're all over the place. Not bad at all. ¿Cómo se llama? Madroña le llamamos. Madroña. Magronia is the name, the local name. Anyway, not bad. We have walked over 3,000 meters, three kilometers. It feels like so much more. Like it's so hot and humid and slopey around here. It feels like so much more. 
and uh, it's it's really a, a, a rough terrain here like it's really not easy to work in this reserve I mean I, I love it I love it so much here but it's really not easy it's and uh, actually every time I come here I, I lose weight because I walk so much and I basically exercise so much here and, and I sweat so much v very interesting piece of information I'm sure you're you're delighted uh, to, to hear that anyway we're not far now let's go We walked for six hours that night, mostly in the rain. We found a beautiful eyelash viper, as well as two rarely found snakes, a Chocoan tree boa and a young Chocoan bushmaster, both of them endemic to the Choco region. Well, it's 3 a.m. and we just got home and uh, in the pouring rain. But we found many exciting things. Now I'm ingesting all the pictures and it's, it's about time to go to bed. So I woke up early this morning and I decided to come to the forest uh, because yesterday night with Ariel, we found a massive boa constrictor. It's absolutely beautiful. Took some pictures. It's on a slope, it's under a log. It's not easy uh, to take good pictures of it, but, uh, but I like challenges. So I wanted to come back to where we found it last night in the morning, just in case it's still there so that I can take some more photos and more footage. So, so that's what I'm doing right now. And uh, it's just uh, a little further down the stream. It's not that far from camp. The big boa is still there. It hasn't moved one inch. It's time to take pictures. Let me get my self box ready because uh, it's quite dark under that log. Here's my flash. Let's go. Can you see it? <laughs> Little game. It's not easy. It's one of the fattest snakes I've ever seen. This is a northern boa constrictor. It's the biggest snake in the Choco region, and uh, although it's not venomous, it's a constrictor snake, uh, a bite for one of these guys would really hurt because, uh, well, they have a massive head and a massive mouth and, uh, and a lot of teeth. So it's definitely a treat to see one of, uh, one of those, and such a big one too. It's definitely a good trip. So the baby hummingbirds are still here, right next to the house. But today, it's not only their beaks and tails sticking out of the nest, but basically their whole bodies. And there was a massive rainstorm um, a couple nights ago, and I was thinking about them. I was like, what's going to happen to them? I never thought that this tiny nest and these tiny creatures would resist uh, such a rainfall. but. They're still here, healthier than ever. We were about 
to go on a hike with Yarira, uh, but uh, she's, uh, she's fixing uh, whatever all this is, all these lamps. Uh, ¿Qué estás haciendo? <laughs> The idea is that we're going to go on, on, a, on a long walk with the Adira today in the forest and we'll be, the, the walk back will be by night. So she wants to make sure that she has a, a powerful headlamp. So she's working <laughs> on it. She's fixing yeah. all the headlamps. Listo. Tenemos el foco. Yadira and I went on a walk, uh, quite a long walk actually. We were going to that spot in the forest where she saw the harpy eagle and we're hoping to see it again today. Um, we're going to go to that spot and basically stay there for a few hours and we're going to wait and, uh, and hope it shows up. Um, yeah, it's a tough walk, it's a long walk, but it's absolutely beautiful so not a problem at all okay i'm gonna catch up with yadi we have a, a whole group of howler monkeys uh, right here very hard to photograph because the background is either bright sky or dark foliage the sound they make is also insane it's one of the loudest noises in the animal kingdom actually Yadi was walking ahead of me and she stopped all of a sudden and she said, Thomas, look, and there is a snake in the middle of the path. It's a baby fertile ants. It's so nice. Let me show it to you guys. There it is. Okay, so I'm getting my macro lens, getting rid of the 24 to 70 and because the snake is literally tiny so I need the macro lens and uh, and this is transmitter for the flash So like I said, this is a, a, a juvenile fertile ants. Uh, it's a very common snake in this region. It's a venomous snake, it's a viper. Uh, this uh, particular species can be found in the western part, uh, in the northwestern part of South America and in Central America. 
I always find babies of this particular species. For some reason, I cannot find a full-grown specimen. I hope you can see it. It's right here. It's a beautiful snake. We just arrived at the spot where uh, Yadira saw the, the harpy eagle. I mean, the, the harpy eagle nest, actually. Problem is, it's already getting, getting dark. It's way past five. And uh, I'm not sure we're gonna see anything. We walked slow and we stopped for the howler monkeys. We stopped at the river. We stopped for the snake. Uh, so we got here way later than we thought. Uh, but uh, but it's okay. Now what we're gonna do, we have a few cookies, we have uh, two hammocks, we have coffee, so we're just gonna be here for two, three hours, wait for the night to settle in, and then we'll walk the exact same way. We'll go back to camp at night time to see what, what kind of wildlife we can find. And hopefully, while there's still a bit of light, we can see the harpy eagle, but I'm, I'm not, I, I think it's too late. Uh, anyway, coffee time and hammock time. We've been here for a couple of hours. Uh, we had our cup of coffee and uh, Ariel joined us. And now it's past eight and it's time to go back and see what we can find on the way. So right now Ariel huh? is trying to find this uh, fish that they call Wanya and that Yadira wants me to try. So we stopped at the river and uh, apparently you, you catch this fish with a machete. So Yadira just told Ariel how to do it and Ariel is trying. Ariel and Yadira didn't manage to catch that delicious fish but later that night I photographed a beautiful Imbabura tree frog as well as a Chocoan blunt-head tree snake. Two species that can only be found in the Choco region, in Colombia and Ecuador. So we're back at the camp. It's past midnight. We've been walking the whole day. It was very intense. I'm exhausted, but it was beautiful. And we saw quite a, quite a few things, although we didn't see the harpy eagle. Uh, but but it's okay. We saw many other things and it was it was really worth it The boa constrictor is not there anymore. Not sad. Uh, yeah, it, it, pro it probably left uh, that hiding spot, but it's probably around here somewhere. I mean, they're very territorial snakes and they don't move that much, it's very, especially a snake this size. So it's probably around here somewhere and I might find it again next time I'm, uh, I'm in this reserve, but I guess, uh, I guess not today. It was amazing to spend a few days in Tesoro Escondido Reserve. I caught up with some good friends. I saw so much wildlife, m mammals, reptiles, amphibians. This reserve constantly blows my mind and this whole Choco region in Western Ecuador is absolutely amazing. I really hope that it doesn't get wiped out. I mean, most of it is already gone, but there are some amazing people and NGOs doing amazing work in the Choco region and creating reserves.
to protect it. So I'm very hopeful for the future. Now, it was an amazing time here and it's time to go back to the capital of Ecuador, Quito, just for one night and then back home to Lima, Peru. It was great and I had such a good time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.